welcome Hi. in. What's your name? I'm Simone. Simone, how old are you? I'm 24. And what do you do? I am a full-time content creator, lifestyle and beauty content, and then I'm- Bro. I'm just saying. I just get, like, you feel me? I got that. Put y'all cash up in the comments. Y'all know how to win. Also, if y'all want to join a thousand dollar giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and go follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. You are in the giveaway. Also, um, I will be doing a giveaway live on this channel October 22nd. You don't want to miss it. Like I always say, I will be. Tr I'm trying to do it monthly. That's why I'm grinding so hard. But my bank account, the way it's set up, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> you feel me? I can't do it right now. And also, we'll be giving y'all more as well, man. But. The way she says she 24 and don't look, she ain't no 24. 34. This chick is not 24. You can listen to her voice and just her mannerisms. She lying. And uh, another thing is when a chick just lead with social media and you know she not monetizing none. Because a lot of big, everybody not like Ryan. Ryan, he be reacting to these shows and he come on these shows. But big time content creators ain't showing up on our last show. I'm just saying. Only Ryan. There's only an exception for him because he just like doing stuff like that. But I just know, you feel me? I just get that vibe. But look into the video. Currently my master's program at Pepperdine uh, for clinical psychology. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> what are some things like to do for fun? Um, so I am a poetess, I'm a writer, a podcast host. Um, I just love everything, creative, arts, everything like that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I like a man with a higher education level, wisdom, um, communication, understands uh, emotional regulation. Mm -hmm. um, those are, that's, that's it right there, that's vital. Okay, yeah. got it your makeup there you go Thank you. <laughs> and now what are some deal breakers um i would say lack of like just not like being able to like fully like feel and communicate mm. i think that's a disruption uh, a man that doesn't that uh gets like weary about being out with me and understanding that i get attention and that i get looks and bro i cannot stand what bro, oh my f yeah i don't like her already I cannot stand when women say that, bro. Man, I know that I get attention. What? I get attention. What you talking about? There ain't nothing you have to say. Every woman. Like, why you got to say that? That's an indication that she's looking for attention. Boy, I just preached. Man, bro. I'm telling you, I'm going to hire y'all. I'm looking. I'm, a hi I'm hiring an organ player. I need an organ back there so when I start preaching, y'all can play. So I'm going I'm to I'm I'm pay y'all hourly. So if y'all can play the organ, y'all hit me up in it, on, on Instagram. But like I say, I, I cannot stand when women say that way because I get t attention. No, it's because you're looking for attention. That's what you crave. There's been many beautiful women, a lot more beautiful than her to, that then came on this show when they did not mention that. Oh, I get a lot of attention when I go out. No, you think you get a lot of attention when you go out. Now, come on, bro. Don't, don't get me started today, bro. I don't want no man like being angry at me about that. Mm. Uh, Cause like he's gonna be my man. Like I'm a, we look good together type of shit, you know? Okay. <laughs> um, And then like somebody who's just like stupid. Sorry, I just can't do that. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, I just can't. I'm sorry. That's your preference. No, your preference. That's it. <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay. We'll do that. Yeah. All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. So oh, okay. what's going to happen is I'm actually switching on over to you. Oh. I'm okay. going to give you a pick and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far. Whoever may not really be your type, whatever it is. So okay. let me give you that and go ahead and pop those two. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, let's start right on over here. If we can have your- Wait, I didn't get this nigga last video. Why this nigga come out the house with a cowboy hat and a tank top on? Why well, I'm cut this video off right now, bro. Like, seriously, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, man. My name is Ryan, I'm 26. Okay. And Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear her talk more and hear her out. Okay. Yeah, it was like too soon to decide. Got it. Okay, but she's someone that's physically your type? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. And now, why do we end up popping his? 
Well, you know, unfortunately, I wish that I could hear you speak because I feel like you have a great vocabulary and great grammar and mm. can carry yourself well. <laughs> um, but from the looks of it, in reality, I just don't do light skins. Oh, OK. Yeah. Tough. <laughs> I mean, he can't change that. It's like, I'm not that's mad at him. I'm not like, you can't do nothing about that, but all it's good. all right. But that's, yeah, that's okay, it. Cool, thank you. And then he did pop one more down here. Yeah. Your name and age? My name is John. I'm 31. Okay. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she nice, you feel me? Uh, she read my type, you feel me? Uh, I like light-skinned women, so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see how she what. Got it, got it. And why did we end up popping his? You didn't make eye contact with me once while I was speaking. That's, I respect and I it. and I like I love a shy timid man who's gonna let me speak for him because I'm a I, I'll speak for you if you want me to but for you not to make really eye contact is crazy <laughs> yeah it's crazy so yeah that's it okay I'll respect it yeah okay thank you all right let's head the back. way she talked I sense cap in her whole makeup like a lot of guys don't understand they just ain't got that I got that vision for real. Her whole everything about her is, is cap. She gives me I still stay with somebody vibes. A hundred percent. She give me I still stay with somebody vibe. I hope she get picked so I can see the follow up. I really want to see the follow up. But she give me cap for sure. Back and let's go ahead and ask these guys a question. Okay. Um. What do you do for work? Okay. Name, age. What do you do for work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Uh, I also am a famous YouTuber and adult entertainer and also do bodybuilding. Okay. This is another thing about him. This was so cap about him. And, I, and I'm and i so mad I didn't say, say it the last video, right? This is how you know a nigga's cap, right? This nigga cap too. First of all, I lost... What nigga proud to say he an adult entertainer? Like, if my friend come out and say he an adult entertainer, he ain't my friend no more. That's just that, because I'm really big on, like, nigga, I don't want no freaky nigga around me. I'm sorry. I just don't want no freaky niggas around me. But this nigga proud to say he a... Adult entertainer. And then he goes to say he's a famous. Did he say he's a famous YouTuber? Right? Check this out. This guy next to him is really a famous YouTuber. I know him. I hope I, I pray that my channel get as big as his someday. When they asked him what he did for a living, he said, I own two media companies. He never said I was a famous YouTuber. This guy, nobody knows him. Do any of y'all know his YouTube channel? Do anybody know? But he goes to say, oh, I'm a famous YouTuber. I mean, I don't got to say nothing else. The the real famous YouTuber ain't say nothing about YouTube. He disguised it. Because a lot of niggas who really know who they is, they don't have to put that out there. This nigga out here, he trying to sound, oh, I'm a famous YouTuber. I'm a adult. Bro, use a, use a weirdo. You got a cowboy hat on with, come on, bro. Yeah. Adult entertainer, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, let's go on over here. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you do? My name is Chris. I'm 27, and I got a couple jobs. I'm a realtor first, then I work at a community center, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay, what's the nonprofit about? It's about helping black people. And then I got another one where I help black girls with my mom. Okay, yeah. understandable. We appreciate your service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your name and age, and what do you do for work? Uh, I'm Trey, 25. I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay, Trey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Name, age, and what do you do? How you doing? I'm Nati. I'm 25. And I'm a project engineer for a general contractor. It's my full-time gig, um, but I also do a little freelance estimating on the side. And what's your freelance? Uh, estimating. So oh, like estimating. Specialty oh, okay. contractors. And oh, so you go with numbers and shit? You know your math? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> well, I don't know shit by math. <laughs> Name, age, and what do you do? <laughs> uh, I'm Key, 28, uh, and I own a trucking business. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. All right. He said that's it. <laughs> that's good, though. You're a business owner. What are you talking we about? We got to pop right here. Why do we end up popping? Out uh, of vernacular, I'm not too big on cussing um, in these spaces. Um, yeah, so. that's not going to be. Yeah, we ain't going to. I love it. Because me, myself, I don't like even my wife cuss. I be like, y'all see, I don't cuss on my, on my channel. I'm still trying to not say nigga, but it's so hard to explain things without saying nigga. It's just like that first nigga. I'm like, you, this nigga is a weird ass nigga. It's just so easy for me to say that, but I'm still trying not to say it. Yeah. Work with that. Yeah, honestly. That's okay. That's good. <laughs> Shit works out. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Stuff works it's out. Okay. It's okay. So is he someone that's your type? No. Ooh, okay, why not? Um, okay. okay. No, it's just like, no, I love the outfit. I love the outfit. It's cute. Um, honestly, for me, it's just like the physical appearance. That was it. 
Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So based off of those responses you heard, hmm, we did get a pop. So I'm going to have you just pop just one. All right, so why do we end up popping his? Um, you know, I love the work ethic. I love, you, you sound smart. You're just, um, physically, again, it's just not the vibe. Okay, is there something specific? Just the height. That's it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. So you did have your balloon <laughs> unpopped for her. Why so? Yeah, she's very pretty. I like the tattoos, too. I was noticing those. That's pretty cool. Thank but you. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'm realizing the tattoos. Can I take that back? Can you put more air in his balloon? <laughs> <laughs> this girl. Let that on back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so okay. we do have three balloons left on Pops. Go I ahead do. and ask these guys another question. Okay, what's your, um, what is your perspective in regards to gender roles and the expectations of a woman in your relationship? As in traditional household, what like how do you want your woman to be when it comes to? All right, that's a perfect question. All right, yeehaw. All right, so naturally, I'm from Michigan originally. My parents both grew up together and stuff like that. You feel me? Married, raised me and stuff like that. My morals, my traditional, by myself. I want to have a family. I want to move back to the country and stuff like that. I have acreage, a lake, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I'm building towards right now. But for my women, she has to be willing to let me lead and let and follow with suit type shit. You feel me? I want her to be able to have her own hustle. You feel me? Do whatever she wants to do and stuff. Okay. That I want her to have her own dreams, aspirations too. But obviously, I'm gonna be the man in the household and stuff like that. You feel me? So I gotta be able to make the priority. You feel me and shit. But I want you to still be able to ride by my side. Are you prepared to do that? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I've tried to do it before a few times, and a lot of women are not. Uh, uh, emotionally capable and also communicative. Was this before no. or after? Nigga, use an adult star, nigga. Like, what woman is going to be like, hey, I'm going to take you serious besides a woman who's trying to do that with you? You know what I'm saying? The adult entertainment. No, it's during as well okay. and before. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Good answer. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Answer to your question. Can you repeat it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll repeat it. Uh, it's what is like your perspective and how do you perceive like your relationship and your gender roles when it comes to your woman? I feel like in a perfect world, you know, I want the traditional sense, you know, I'll be able to take care of you. But, you know, shit happens. And so if I'm if I'm down, I need a helping hand. I need you to be there to be able to help. Me. OK, that's an example. And our last guy over here, the answer to her question. Uh, yeah, to answer your question, I'm more so traditional, uh, but I am like, I do agree with teamwork, you know what I'm saying? So like, if you if you cooking, I'm washing dishes, you know what I'm saying? If you washing clothes, I'm folding and drying and whatnot. So, you know, it's just, just you know, helping each other out. You know, that's it. All right, good answer, good answer. Okay. All right, you know what time it is? It is time to I pop do. a balloon. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's stay right over here. Why'd you end up popping his? Um. Honestly, it was just a first off me having to repeat the question. Um, second off, it, then it was the answer. So I just I felt like you could have definitely, if you had a good a better answer, then I could have like you know sidetracked that that first part. But I hate repeating myself. Oh shit, that's cool. Okay, all right. So why did you have your balloon unpop for her? Is she cute? Cool. Okay. Okay. You okay. Know, you know, she she's smart though. She well put together. Mm -hmm. You know, she had a lot going on. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so we do have two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl here? Yes, one down there. We'll be back. <laughs> come on over, come on over. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's our question? Uh, yeah, do you, do you have any kids? I do. I have one, and he's two years old. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so kids are a deal breaker? Yeah, it's just the kids, uh, especially at that young of an age. Uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah, not something I'm, you know. Yeah, shit. Sure. Her baby daddy was still in the picture. You feel what I'm saying? That young. You feel me? But like I like I already said before, she's a skeezer, bro. Like I can sense him. Like, and it's crazy because I had somebody comment and say, I, I um what is what they say? A female commented and said that I was negative towards women. No, 
I'm when I see a beautiful woman, I give her her props. I see a woman, I'm like, I think she's a good one. I've been wrong. I, I was wrong about the OnlyFans chick Nova. I thought she was a good girl, but come to find out, she on, OnlyFans star. You know, I was wrong about that one, but I be right most of the time. But I thought she was a good chick. I, I give them they props. You see, I got on the old dude. I, get, I always get on the dudes. You feel what I'm saying? I get on everybody. That's that's what I do. I'm not, I don't just. I love women. I got a wife. You feel what I'm saying? But if you uh, if I sense the three or four I'm gonna say. You feel me? Yeah, but beautiful girl, though. I Thank definitely, you. I, you know, I would approach you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, he is my type. He is my type, yo. yo. But it's okay. Eyes out. Can't change Thank that. you. <laughs> and then our guy over here ended up popping as well. Why'd we end up popping? Only because of that, babe. The you kid. feel me? With mm -hmm. traditional men, I want my woman to come pure. I don't care about the whole societal door with the bodies and shit like that. You feel me? Pure? Man, this nigga, bro. He yeah, already. Right. Like, how you gonna say you want your woman pure when you an adult entertainer? Nothing about you is pure. You need the raunchiest woman. You need the worst woman. That's what you deserve. How you want a pure woman? Bro, don't get me started, bro. Come on, bro. I mean, that I really don't give a fuck about type shit, thing, but it's like having to start with another person's child and shit and the uh, things that come with it and stuff like that. You feel me? I want to start my own family from scratch. I, and I had raised in a full household, my brother and sister, everybody, my parents stayed together. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, I have that, I have that moral in me. I just can't. And it's, I wish, but you can't change shit sometimes. And I get that, um, especially with you growing up in a two-parent household. I completely understand that because that is a very valid foundation and principle on how you look on relationships. I grew up in a single mom household, so I completely understand where you're coming from. And I accept that. So that's good that you know that by yourself. I love that you have your boundaries. I appreciate you. Yeah. You go stunning. Like, thank you. Do your thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons pop. Yeah. So we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> Let's take this mic. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. I'm in the video, though, man. Now, tell me what y'all think about that video in the comments, man. See you guys next video. And always remember be safe out there, kings and queens. Let's get it.